Maybe we go just with um, with two landing gears on the sides. That could be enough. I'm I'm trying to make it look very stable and very rigid, kind of. But I don't want to have a a very big ugly structure on the side. So I think one. And two could be enough. The thing we have to test now is, or we have to test in a second, is if we are still able to dock the ship to it without scratching yeah, the hull and all that stuff. Because there might be our problem. This is This is very close to the... This will be very close to the hull of the ship, and um, we might, ah, yeah, we might damage it if we lock it to the. We will, we will just test test here on this side. The docking port, the actual docking port on the ship, will be somewhere here. With the. Um, with the auto locking feature of these of these landing gears i can oh i need a lot more steel plates with the locking feature of these uh landing gears i can uh make it so that i uh, for one thing can yeah have the locking uh, the, the auto locking feature going and i don't need to is it done It is done. Very good. Um, I don't need to get out of the ship to yeah disengage it from the station. So that's the another another thing that I yeah kind of want to achieve with this. Let's finish it up here, and I can do this by hand. Um, for now, I. I mostly want to see um, if I can auto lock it and don't have to um, give me let me see I want uh, I want to have a I just want to have uh where is it the normal console da control po pl panel um on the side here just uh, that I'm able to set the construction so that I'm able to set the the amount of force that is needed to break loose here it's a bit of a testing I should have done in a in a creative world but uh, some of you know that I'm not such a big fan of creative worlds what I had displays but no computer okay <laughs> uh, really I, I have displays The okay. There will be no good way to see how that works. Ah, I wanted to see the the uh, set the auto locking feature. The main thing again uh, that I have to see is if the landing gears. The landing gears damage the ship. That is, um, I will call them uh, gate one lock. 
so uh, br the breaking force should be okay just I, I will just go with that for now I, I I don't have a clue if how much that is and if my my um, thrusters are providing enough force there oh there's actual damage still damage there <laughs> yeah the the ship is I'm I try to to repair it as much as possible but um, man this thing was beaten up okay let's see how bad it will be the damage okay I need to see if I'm lined up correctly that's that will be a thing where the where the cameras will be come in handy um, the latest the latest patch brought us cameras uh, but for now we are not able to we are not able to really um, use the cameras for something because I can't I can't control the ship if um, if we are watching anything through a camera let me roll the ship a bit more I need to okay okay now we now we should be locked we should be locked now yeah we are locked nice and <laughs> let me see how oh I was <laughs> I was fairly accurate I could jump through ah, no ah, if I duck down no <laughs> not possible um, but at least we can see that we um, that we can lock it but I think the breaking force can be a bit more because the ship is coming loose too easy I think you can see that it it breaks loose when I'm ah, these sometimes the camera controls are oh no ah okay mmm okay the the it is easier to break it if I just speed forward <laughs> okay now does it lock automatically and it stays a bit away from the from the hull so it don't needs to be too close to to lock the ship down um, that is good that is good okay this uh, I man I really need how close are we we are relatively close yeah the cameras will hopefully make that a lot easier a lot easier this is nice this is nice and it seems that the the side thrusters uh, and I don't know if if that's good, but it seems that the side side thrusters are not strong enough to break it loose. No. Nope. So this will not work. Maybe I can bring it down a bit. I would have to see if how much thrust one of these. Can I take a look at that? This is a this is a, a a problem I see um that let me turn that off and then 1.2 mega newton hmm but I think I set the the breaking force to 1.1 so that should work normally Maybe it's because the the whole ship is is on there. See, one point one. Maybe I will go to uh, 
um, just one, no, no, one, and see if that works. Um, it would be nice if it could break loose. One thing it can't break, I think, and that is good, we will have to test is, oh, the gy the gyros can break it, but the side thruster still can't. Is the thrust, is the thrust, when you are using the normal buttons, not high enough? Maybe it's it is not using the maximum thrust if we are that could be that could be the case because it is more effective to use the dampeners to turn on the dampeners to break your ship or to slow down your ship um than to use the buttons. Maybe that could be the case there that the that the buttons don't provide full thrust and only give a portion of the full thrust there and the dampeners the computer if it if it slows you down uses the full thrust hmm on the other hand it is so far away that if i just speed up a bit um, to break loose and then go sideways that w that is working too so um, one thing I have to be careful with is using the why is it oh it could be that it is not in range of a No, it should be. And I like that it is not... <sighs> See, now I damaged it. <clears throat> it is not... It is not perfect, but I think it is much better than to use the... Whoa. Helicopters flying overhead. I'm living relatively close to uh, to a train line and uh, train checks and the police here is from time to time <laughs> flying over the train tracks to to yeah to make patrols. Patrols is <laughs> could be and then see if. Something is fishy with the train tracks. Don't know. 